Hello dear student, I am Muhammad and I want to review your model uh, as a mentor of this ODR Stuart Subdivision Modeling course. So I just uh, checked your model. First of all, uh, you have an option called uh, symmetry. You know, if you toggle the symmetry, you can have, for example, uh, one side of the car and the other side too, and you don't need to use duplicate or recreate the uh, that part on the other side okay so you can do this for uh, actually all of the items here for example I've just uh, done it for the hood for you uh, as you can see here uh, I have used symmetry align for this edge uh, for example if you move this forward I have something like this or have something like this down yeah and if you toggle symmetry and if you check it you have a line at the center but if you want to do if you don't want to have this line you can just click on symmetry line and click on this edge and this edge too for example and any other edge that you want to do that and it actually saves a history of this uh, tool and you can also do the construction history here in order to have a lower file size you know if you do this and then toggle symmetry you will have a very smooth hood here and you don't need to recreate this or i don't know create the other side too and as you can as you can see it's very clear now and you can do this for all of the items i've just did this for uh, many parts here uh, it means I've just toggled the symmetry of most of the parts. You just create it, but, but for some of the parts like this, uh, well, you can do the method that I just did. Or for example, you know, you just set the, this, uh, CV row, this CV row at the center. You can just add another one here, for example. Uh, for example, you can add a line of CV here by insert edge tool and then you and then delete all these cvs here and then just uh, toggle the symmetry on and use symmetry align in order to have a smooth and clean uh, part for both sides and you don't you will never have a line at the center a positional line okay and uh the rest is very good but you know you have to take care about the reflections we told you about the hollow shading and about the character evaluation in order to check uh, the quality of surfaces for example if I check the hollow shading here uh, yep you see a little bit of problem here uh, it's actually not very soft you know here uh, you have to actually try to have something very very clean here okay how can you do that do this uh, you know for example we don't need this one two and three we don't need these three and you can add this layer so if you delete this and check the hobby shading again you see it's much more smoother but you know it's still uh, need a little bit revision uh, and you can do that differently you have to delete these and recreate them. Uh, it depends on how much your CVs or CV rows are actually inside and outside. So you have to check it from the top view, from the side view. And you have to take care about the patches actually. Okay, so very detailed work is here. And actually my, comp my computer is about to die because your details are too much and I think your graphic card is much better than me and here your real actually you don't have to create this much of CVs right here uh, yep as you can see here there are too many CVs right here so you have to reduce them as we just did in tutorials or you can just import uh, a sample will 
because you, you know we don't we don't create uh, wheels with subdivision we just wanted to tell you how to uh, how to do this in all your subdivision as a training or something and you know it's better to move this one inside a little bit because uh, yep it actually needs a little bit of change here let me just move this inside yeah much better uh but you know you have to uh, have a kind of reflect here so it's better to scale one of these several and then move it inside a little bit the details are very interesting here and also here you know it's better not to have kind of these shapes here you know there are many surfaces here so it's better to for example add another line here another edge let me just add that with a cut tool yep here for example to here you see it's done and you don't have any kind of a bad shape there yeah the shape is very clean and also i just added uh, another row of cv you know each each row of cv have to start from somewhere and end somewhere else on the other side so if you start from here you should uh you cannot uh, leave this here and you have to continue until here and if you have any uh, if you want to for example move all of them outside a little bit in order to have a clean reflection you can do that easily uh i told you don't forget to check the uh, curvature evaluation and also how shading you know uh, here for the side it's actually very very good and that's such a top work here but you know here also we have a little bit maybe problem here you have to just take care of this and i just added one plane here for you because it is uh, actually close so you have to add some details here and yeah please revise all these uh, things and then resend them all and i know you just uh, upload you just couldn't upload the uh, this file because it was too big uh, and you didn't use toggle symmetry because that's what that's why the file size is very large and uh, if you do this will you will have a, a smaller file size i know toggling the symmetry you know also here for this uh, grill shape for this one yeah for the front glass for the roof for the hood and also for some back details like yeah the trunk and they maybe the bumper you know you should have them with only one side and use to use to get toggle symmetry yeah so you have to do this and revise this all and about the wheels yeah I told, you, I told you you don't have to create that with subdivision so you can easily uh, maybe delete that or just try to import a wheel uh, of this car for this car okay I know you just uh, couldn't upload this because of the large size uh, so please upload just uh, a sample car or I don't know one part of this as an assignment there and yeah we will um, g give you the discount code for uh, our other courses because each student who complete assignments uh, sometimes they will access some other lessons and sometimes they will get a discount code so thank you so much and please revise, uh, revise all these and then, then just send us a file Thank you so much and have a nice day and goodbye.